Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Praise the Lord. Somebody. Praise the Lord. Anybody. Amen. God bless you this evening and we welcome you. Amen. To another Wednesday evening Bible study. Amen. Happy Juneteenth uh, to those on this Wednesday night. June the 19th was this a significant date in the life of our people. Amen. In this country. Amen. That after the Emancipation Proclamation, the word didn't get out. Amen. Until a few years later. And now look what the Lord has done. He has brought us through many dangers, toils, and snares. And though stony the road, we might have tried it. Amen. Freedom sure still continues to ring out. And we thank God for you this evening that you thought it not robbery. Amen. To log in, to sign in, to download. Amen. On whatever device you might have to spend some time with us this evening breaking the word. Amen. And the bread of life with yours truly, Reverend Marcus Washington. Amen. So we want to welcome you. If this is your first time, amen, joining in with us, won't you go to the chat and just say, uh, drop a few lines, uh, my first time. Amen. We want to welcome you to Ebenezer AME Church, where we are the family church serving the family of God, the miracle on Allentown Road. Real quick, let me just give a quick shout out. Sundays, we have service from 9 a.m., amen, where our senior pastor is the Reverend Dr. Granger Browning Jr., and our co-pastor is the Reverend Dr. Joanne Browning, amen. Won't you come out, amen, come and see us and fellowship with us and spend some time, amen, in the sanctuary with us. But in the meantime, in between time is Bible study on this Wednesday, Juneteenth evening. And again, we want to thank you, amen, for thinking it not robbery to come and spend some time with us. We also want to thank God for the ministerial staff, amen. We want to thank God for the officers of the church, amen, for our parking lot ministry, amen. More importantly, we want to give a huge big shout out to our multimedia media ministry who have made this virtual experience a reality and we thank God for them. Amen. So wherever you are logging in from, whether it's overseas, internationally, right here in the this great country, the U.S. of A, won't you drop us, amen, just a note to say, hey, I'm, 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 I'm logging in from North Carolina. I'm, I'm logging in from Sierra Leone. I'm, I'm logging in from Jamaica. I'm logging in from Costa Rica. Wherever you are, Amen. Won't you drop us a line just to let us know where you are. We are, again, thankful and grateful that you thought it not robbery. Amen. To spend some time with us this evening. Let us not belabor the moment, but allow me to open up with a word of prayer. How many of you know and still believe that prayer changes things? Amen. No matter what the situation, condition, and or circumstances, how many of you know that you can touch the heart of God, move in the spirit realm, and God, through the vehicle of prayer, will come see about you? I, I stand as a living testimony that prayer, prayer still changes things. Let us go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you and we bless you for this is the day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Why, God? Because you kept us and you never left us and you brought us through yet another day that we've not seen before and that we will never see again. And for that, we are grateful. And so, God, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, that you would open up our hearts, that you would touch, open up our minds, and God, position us that we might hear a word from you. God, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would reach out through these virtual highways and byways and that you would rest your presence, God, Jehovah Shammah, in the households, the cars, the classrooms. God, wherever your people might find themselves tuned in to us this evening, God, that you would rest your presence to secure them and to let them know without a shadow of a doubt that you are still able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could think or imagine. But now, God, given that the time is ours, we ask God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would take this, your yielded and still broken vessel of a human being, Marcus Washington. God, that you would give me clarity of thought, articulation of speech, but more importantly, God, that you would open up the windows of heaven, give me access to your Holy Spirit and the movement of the power of your word to teach and to preach. Save, heal, set free, and deliver. 
God, we would be in grace if we didn't lift up our senior pastor, the Reverend Dr. Granger Browning Jr., and our co-pastor, the Reverend Dr. Joanne Browning, wherever they might be, God, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would bless them and continue to use them in a mighty and a marvelous way. Now have your way as only you can, God, and we promise that when it's all said and done, to give your name all the honor, all the glory, and all of the praise. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray this prayer in faith. Let the church say amen. We thank God for you this evening. At this time, we're going to have a selection, amen, from one of our choirs, amen. Won't you open up your ears, amen, join in, amen, with the joyous sounds, amen. And then right after that, we're going to jump right into this word. God bless you. Don't go nowhere. We'll see you real soon.
Amen. Come on and give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Amen. For that musical ensemble. Amen. If you know that you know Ebenezer has one of the greatest music ministries anywhere in the kingdom, it'll be all right just to put in the comments. We sure do feel that music. Amen. We thank God for our music ministry. Amen. But let us move forward as we prepare to jump into the word of God tonight. If you allow me, I promise not to keep you long, no more than about 10 or 15 minutes. Amen. Amen. We're praying that we'll be right on time. Uh, we ask that you would go with us to a very familiar text and piece of scripture. 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter chapter amen this is identified by most scholars as the chapter of love a amen you, you hear it read at weddings amen in special occasions amen where uh, folk are getting married amen or rededicating their love one to another amen first corinthians the 13th chapter i'm going to read for your hearing verses 1 through 8 and then i'm going to jump down to verse 13. this is the apostle paul writing back to the church of Corinth. Amen? And it reads as thus, and I'm going to read from the New International Version, the NIV. If I speak in tongues of men or angels, but do not have love, I am only a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all the mysteries in all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I might boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will still, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Verse 13. And now these three things remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love we would ask that you would consider for a Wednesday night Bible study theme love is the key love is the key uh, beloved we find ourselves living uh, through and in uh, what feels like some strange times. Uh, when you look at uh, our current climate, whether it be politically, socially, economically, uh, we look across the landscape of the globe, not only in this country, amen, but in other regions, and on other continents, amen, uh, it, it, it appears that there is the absence of a powerful four-letter word, and that word is love. Uh, no matter where you sit in the spectrum of life, and no, no matter where you have parked and found yourself uh, in your own social location, uh, we can absolutely come to uh, uh, the conclusion uh, that there appears to be more chaos, more hatred, amen, uh, uh, more 
uh, 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 despised dispositions uh, than we've ever particularly seen in a very long time. Uh, we find it in our judicial system when you consider uh, some of the laws that have been uh, approved from the Supreme Court. We, we hear it uh, in the discourse of our politicians uh, up on the hill, uh, amen, where it, 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 we, we don't seek to collaborate for the betterment and the good of individuals, but we have gone to our separate corners to fight Amen. And, and, and to spew out uh, hatred and disinformation and propaganda all to seek power in the absence of love. We find this even to be true if the truth is told uh, in our communities, uh, even amongst our very own, our young folk who, who are angry. Amen. Our, our young folk uh, who, who, who seem to be making uh, decisions, who embrace, uh, in some cases, unnecessary violence and uh, are moved by anxiety to act out uh, that would be destructive to their own self-interest due to the simple fact that there's an absence of love, of love. Where is the love in the words of Donnie Hathaway? Where, where is the love? Stevie Wonder said, love is in need of love. Send yours in right away because we need the love. But I, 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 like, I like the way uh, that the uh, black eye Peas said it in, in their song, uh, Where is the Love? It, if you allow me to, to, to kind of pull up uh, an external, extra biblical resource uh, that can speak to our current context, uh, I, I want to pull the, the gospel according to the rap group, the Black Eyed Peas, uh, in their song uh, and in their lyrics, Where is the Love? It, it simply states this What's wrong with the world? mama people living like they ain't got no mamas i think the whole world is addicted to the drama only attracted to things that will bring you trauma overseas yeah we trying to stop terrorism but we still got terrorists here living in the u.s the big cia the bloods the crips and the kkk but if you only have love for your own. Then you only leave space for discrimi to discriminate. And to discriminate only generates hate. And when you hate, then you're, you are bound to get irate. Madness is what you demonstrate. And that's exactly how anger works. And operates man you gotta have love just to see it straight take control of your mind and meditate let your soul gravitate to the love to the love to the love people killing people dying children hurt hear them crying can you practice what you preach or would you turn the other cheek father 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 help us Send some guidance from above cause people got me, got me questioning where is the love? Where is the love? The love. Where is the love? The love. Where is the love? The love. The love. Where is the love? That's just the first uh, uh, stanza uh, from the Black IP asking a very relevant and pertinent question. Where is the love? And that sets the backdrop to the Apostle Paul uh, responding to uh, a letter from the church in Corinth. See, they were faced with, I believe, some similar situations and circumstances being new converts, amen, in this new movement of Christian belief, those who follow in the way of Jesus. And they found themselves uh, having to come up against 
some circumstances and situations, amen, that challenged their, their belief. They were breaking away from the cultural norm of hate, of selfishness, self-centeredness, amen, from, 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 that, from, that, from that piece of me, myself, and I, amen, and trying to embrace this new standard, this new practice, this new philosophy, this new religion. This, this new spirituality that actually empowered individuals not based on how much money you had, not based on your political affiliations, not based on what family you were born into, not based on, amen, the current climate or the culture where you found yourself. This particular movement embraced and accepted everybody right where they were because, amen, the number one thing that no matter where you came from no matter what your pedigree was amen you were received in the full expression of God's love amen it, it was the embodiment and the fulfillment amen of John 3 16 you you know that scripture and it simply states God so loved the world that he gave amen he gave his only begotten son. And check this out. It didn't stop. This says, whomsoever believed in him shall not perish, shall not die, but have what? Everlasting life. That, that's what love uh, brings you. L -l love brings you to a place uh, of not uh, subtraction, nor nor division amen but love transacts you in multiplication and addition that that means that uh, uh no matter where you found yourself no matter what circumstances you you were challenged and or going through amen love 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 is the key that unlocks the promise uh, love is the key that unlocks the potential love is the key Amen. That, that, that will allow God to pour into your life, my life, our lives, everything that we stand in need of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, see, see what Paul was, was speaking to a group of people, a man who had a self inwardly perspective. Uh, that love was about only what they needed, not what we needed. Uh, the collective, the the cornonia, the body uh, of Christ. You, you see, it's impossible uh, to love only one part of you and hate the other. Talk, talk, talk to me, W. E. B. Du Bois, a, a man in in his his book of essays, The Soul of Black Folk. And he talks about this duality, uh, this dualism that we wrestle and struggle with. O on one hand, uh, we, we are Africans in America and we were born to be free. Uh, while on the other hand, we were captured and falsely arrested and illegally transported like goods to a country that a man never demonstrated or put in his policy and practices to have a space and a place for us to amen embrace all of our humanity and because of that we wrestled with uh, the struggle of being saved and free while yet at the same time questioning where is the love and how can I move about and be received in a place that never created a space for me? And, and, and in doing so, uh, we now find ourselves, amen, wrestling in a time zone that, that, that appears to want to take us back instead of moving us forward in love. And, and, and here is the thing, allow me to pause parenthetically. Uh, the, the benefits of embracing our love for one another, amen, our, 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 our collective uh, 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 purposes for one another, a amen, outweighs 
the differences that we have. You, you, you see, uh, the Latin theologians uh, defined this, this collective imprint, a, 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 a man, uh, uh, that you can see the image of God in all of God's creation. In all uh, of God's creation. Uh, this, this thumbprint that uniquely, uniquely uh, imparted in us the imagi deo, the image and the likeness of God in spite of our diversities in God's creation. Amen? Let me see if I can simplify that uh, a little bit for you. You see, uh, uh, I, I'm created as one, however, my eyelashes don't resemble my toenail. That's di this diversity within myself. Uh, my, my, my finger does, does not resemble my baby toe. My, my, my knee, even though it's a joint and moves, amen, it, it still doesn't uh, resemble my shoulder. However, we operate in the diversity of our oneness as a collective, amen, to be one. And that's what we are missing today. You, you see, this text helps us to look beyond our differences. This text helps us to understand that we can achieve more together than we can if we are separated and or divided. You see, the enemy in, in all of his uh, skilled tricks uh, and tomfoolery seeks to do what uh, Jesus told us to steal to kill and to destroy but he says I have come why, why did you come Lord that you might have life and have life more abundantly and I, I just wanted to stop by today just to remind us the reason the, the season and, and the application of God's word and God's movement and God's presence and God's embodiment and God's transformational process amen amen in the collective of oneness of love through his son Jesus Christ was to reconcile us to be back in love with him and one another so don't fall for the tricks I, I know I know we, 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 we got some trauma and some drama I know we've got some collective dysfunctionalism yes I know we even got some church hurt that may have made you think differently but let me tell you this one thing that if you give and leave some space for love and grace, I promise you, God will take you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. Uh, you know my, one of my favorite scriptures, and I quote it all the time. David, I think, says it in the midst of his own trauma and difficulty. Amen. In Psalm 23, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Uh, 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 thou preparest a place for me in the presence of mine enemies. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever the only way you can get there is through love you, you, you gotta you gotta embrace love you see love is one of those strange words that has multiple uh, categories and definitions amen it's not just a verb it, it's a noun. amen it, it's a proverb it's a designation but but the one thing for people of faith is that it's a demonstration you see faith without works is what is dead and, and God says if you have enough faith to believe in me and seek me I, I, I will reward you for your 
diligency because we can do all things through Christ, through his love. Amen. That what? Comforts, empowers, guides, saves, delivers, and what? Sets free. And so tonight, if you find yourself bound up, illegally arrested, held hostage in the imagination of your anger that the enemy who whispers sweet nothings in your ear. I just came by for a few minutes. A, a man with a get out of jail free card. And if that doesn't get you, we're going to bust you out. We're going to break you loose and we're going to set you free. Why? Because love conquers all things. And as a prepared to close this Bible study, uh, I, I would invite you to go back, amen, to 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, and, and, and meditate on that along with this, uh, uh, what we call extra biblical resource, amen, that's externally outside the word but speaks to our current context amen and, and, and turn in and tune up while you're reading that to, 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 to the Black Eyed Peas song where is the love but don't stop there after you've done uh, listening to that I, I want you to close you see my man Frankie Beverly and Mays they, 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 had, a, they had a tour amen the, 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 they had a going away they had a uh, 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 in, J, in the words of JC amen they, 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 they fade in the black saying this is our last uh, 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 hurrah and, and, and as, if you know anything about Frankie Beverly and Mays it, it, it'll set any uh, uh, cookout birthday party get together crab feast it'll set it on fire and Frankie Beverly I think in Mays leaves us with a critical thought to exercise amen to let us know that God has not left us nor does he forsake us in their song love is the key it says love is the key to life the things that makes it right why we can't be one I'll never know. Love is the key this time. And there's no doubt in my mind if you really want to be free. Love is the key. How do you know, preacher? Well, you know I got to close uh, with this journey about a story about my Lord. You, you, you see, there was no love for him. He was hated by his own, turned in, amen, on some trumped up charges, arrested in the darkness of the middle of the night taken to a court a man who was who was charged a man with some laws that did not exist a man they tried to trade him a man for a true criminal but they said no give us Barabbas and crucify Jesus a man and in spite of that they, they, they mocked him and they, they beat him and they publicly humiliated him. They, they marched him up, up this road uh, uh, called the Via Della Rosa to a hill of skulls called Golgotha. There they hung him high and they stretched him wide. Ah, they pierced him in his side and, and, and he hung his head in the cliff of his shoulders in there he died oh he was dead on Friday he wasn't he dead he was dead on Saturday wasn't he dead he was dead oh, all that evening but early somebody say early early Sunday morning love raised him up with all power in his hand and that same love that same power that got Jesus up out of the grave is that same love that same power that's going to transition some love into your life all you got to do is believe and receive and watch God watch God perform a miracle in your life you're next in line for a miracle you're next in line for a breakthrough and if you don't know that for yourself and if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ in the pardoning of your sins but more importantly uh, to be a part and become the love of your life we, we want to invite you 
Amen. We want to invite you, amen, to, to give us an opportunity to share that love. Amen. By giving God your heart and allowing him to dispense his love into your life. If, if, you, if, if you don't know the Lord and you say, this is my first time logging in, amen, we, we just want you to be saved. What, what does that mean? God is not looking for perfect people. He's just looking for people that he can work with and have some faith. And it simply states uh, in, in, in Romans, amen, uh, that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and that he is the son, the only begotten son of God, then salvation is yours and life everlasting. Amen. You got car insurance. Amen. You got health insurance. Amen. You got homeowners insurance. Won't you get some insurance for your soul? And the great thing about this salvation and this policy is that it doesn't come with a premium. You, you, you see, the Bible declares that Jesus paid, paid it all in full. All you got to do is come pick it up, amen, and receive it for yourself. Nobody can get it for you. Nobody can mail it to you. You got to come get it for yourself because God has a blessing specifically with your name on it. So we invite you, a, a, amen, that if, if, if you have not received salvation, or you might say, Rev, I kind of slipped away and, and slid in the darkness and I want to rededicate my faith, amen, or you might be saved and you're just looking for a church home. We want to invite you to go to EbenezerAME.org forward slash salvation instructions will come up on the screen amen or you can just put in the chat your information and someone from the church and the ministerial staff amen will reach out with you will pray with you and pray for you amen we we would love to be your brothers and sisters in the Christ in Christ where, where again our, our, our dynamic duo pastors the Reverend Dr. Granger Browning and the Reverend Dr. Joanne Browning would love to be your pastors. Come and experience some of this love here at Ebenezer, the church on Allentown Road. Amen. Where we are the family church serving the family of God. We, we love you. We look forward to seeing you and particularly, hopefully, on one Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Amen. Where, where we can absolutely love you fully. Amen. While God loves all of the hell up out of you and fills you with his love and your purpose for your life. God bless you. Come on and give the Lord's name another hand clap of praise. It's offering time. Amen. It's offering time. And you'll see behind me on the screen. Amen. The different ways. Amen. That we uh, uh, ask you to partner with us to continue the ministry and pursuing God's benevolence and his love for God's people. Amen. You can do so by text to give. You can do so by giveify. Amen. Email. Or you could just mail in your tithe and or your offering. Uh, I, I can say clearly, amen, that God multiplies and adds to the kingdom because you've partnered not only just with Ebenezer, but more importantly, you're partnering with God in the kingdom of heaven. And God says, won't you try him and see, won't he open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing in your life so much so that you don't have room enough, amen, to take it all in. So we ask that you would reach out. Amen. As we continue to care for God's people, meet God's people with their needs. Amen. And to put into practice, more importantly, in a very practical way, the love of God. Amen. By helping and meeting God's people's needs. Amen. We thank God for you. We love you this evening and there's nothing you can do about it. We hope to see you on Sunday and amen. We hope you'll continue to tune in with us. Amen. With our Wednesday night Bible studies. Amen. And we look forward. Amen. To this continued growth in relationship. Amen. And the love of God. Now the benediction. Now unto him who is able to love us even when we're not lovable. Who is able to bring us through in his benevolent loving power through any situation, condition, or circumstance. To this God be all power and dominion henceforth and forevermore. And the people of God said amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. We love you. 
and we hope to see you soon. And we're out. God bless you. Ebenezer's Family and Community Day will be on Saturday, September 7th from 12 noon to 4 p.m. right here on the grounds of Ebenezer. There will be something for everyone, including food, arts and crafts, a classic car show, gaming zone, musical chairs for all ages, line dancing, a 360 photo booth, a ministry fair, and much more. This event is entirely free and open to the entire community. Come out and invite others for an afternoon of fun designed for the entire family. Sundays are on fire this summer at The Ebb. Join us in person and online each Sunday at 9 a.m. with guest preachers Elder Byron Cage on August 25th. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord because what you sow in tears, God said you get ready to reap in joy. And on Sunday, September 1st, Pastor Tony Lee of Community of Hope AME Church will deliver an anointed word. Have I got somebody in the house that's ready to do some heavy lifting? Heavy lifting that'll get your child right. Heavy lifting that'll get your money right. Heavy lifting that'll get your body healed. Lift! It's going to be an explosion in the word that you don't want to miss. Join us each Sunday from August 4th through September 1st. Baptismal counseling and instruction class for immersion candidates will be held Tuesday, September 3rd at 7 p.m. in person here at Ebenezer. To register to attend, go to EbenezerAME.org under News and Events. The immersion baptism service will be held on Sunday, September 22nd, immediately following the 9 a.m. worship experience. The Ebenezer Golf Ministry invites all golfers, men and women, to join them for an 18-hole two-person team golf tournament on Saturday, September 28th at 2 p.m. at the courses at Joint Base Andrews. There will be a women's division and a men's division. The cost is $150 per person, $110 for Andrews Air Force Base members, and includes green fees, golf cart, and lunch. Register by September 25th at EbenezerAME.org or scan the QR code. For more information, email golfministry at EbenezerAME.org. Calling all dancers, youth, young adults, and adults, ages 8 and up. It's open season for Ebenezer's liturgical dance ministry until September 8, 2024. This is an opportunity to join in ministering through liturgical and African dance to the glory of God. For more information, go to ELDM7707.com. That's ELDM7707.com. Email liturgicaldance at ebenezerame.org or call 301-265-9029.